Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today's episode, um, we're shopping at Walmart. Oh, wait a minute, we already did the shopping. <laughs> I got my bag. I don't know if you guys saw that there. Got another fat bag here. So, well, now we're leaving Walmart. I got my hands full, as you guys can see. And we're just gonna walk home. What are we gonna be talking about today? Well, we're gonna be talking about, how about this? You guys remember that Rolling Stones song? That song that goes, uh, you don't always get what you want, but you get what you need. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna be talking about that. And um, if you have too many wants, then maybe you gotta drop some of your wants so you can get what you really want. All right, all right, let's see if we can cross this street here for, I guess, two traffic. It was pretty bad a little while ago. Hope uh, it's enough battery for me to film an episode. I'm hoping I can make it. But anyways, but yeah, it's all about, if you're not, if you're not happy with where you're at, if you're not getting what you want out of life, well, again, maybe you just gotta like uh, reorganize and re, re, re yeah, reorganize your life. You know, reappropriate the things that are holding you back. In the sense of like, well, if you want, let's say, if you want to be a very, very successful um, guitarist, well, but at the same time. You also want to be doing a bunch of other things. Yeah, sorry, I was just uh, getting a little distracted. I want to make sure I don't get too runned over here. Or runned over at all, period. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? Look at this guy. Just chilling. It's Lambo's cousin, by the way. Lambone. That's Lambone. It's his cousin. So, like, for example, I mean, the reason I'm kind of talking about this right now is because... I think I've achieved, you know, a point in my life where I pretty much got everything I want. Sure, there's a lot of things, a lot of things that I have yet, you know, to accomplish, that I want to accomplish. I, you know, again, you know, I feel like I haven't even gotten started yet. But when it comes to just the regular things in life, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, we as people are always uh, chasing these things chasing um whether it's the perfect woman or the perfect job or the perfect um you know career the perfect um whatever whatever the fuck it is you know perfect opportunity and uh you know we focus so hard yeah sorry just like i'm one-handed so i apologize for today's uh you know for today's uh footage hope it's not too fucking horrible but yeah, I should have thought this out before I did today's episode. But see, look, for example, let's let's go back to talking about me since I'm really good at that. So for example, I want what I'm doing so bad, so fucking bad, that I'm, I'm, I'm even filming this episode one-handed, you know, walking in this heat, um, just uh, creating something out of nothing because what I want out of my life, I want it so fucking bad. I want it so bad, so bad that I just don't give it up. Don't give up. And I just, I mean, again, not even not give up, but it's just like it's constant. I don't stop. But how did I get here? How did I get to this point? You know, how can you get to this point? Well, it takes a lot of work. It really does. It really does take a lot of soul searching. It takes a lot of uh, everything. Look, this car, I think it just escaped from Russia. We got Russians out here too. So, um... Yeah, you know, like I, like I was saying, you know, it's, it's like, do you want it bad enough How about that? You know, maybe that should be a better, you know, and if you want it bad enough, you'll get it. And then now it comes down to, you know, what I was saying earlier about the Rolling Stones song. You know, you might not get what you want, but you'll definitely get what you need. And that's the thing. If you want what you want bad enough and you put your head down and work for it to get it, whatever the fuck that is, don't worry. The universe will provide. Don't worry about all these other things sure we all got responsibility sure we all have things that we need to take care of sure there's a lot of fucking things that we can't neglect for obvious reasons but for the most part again just going back to what i was talking about to what i was talking about when it came to the control thing we're in full control 
And um, if you're not achieving or getting what, the results you want or need, well, maybe it's because you have too many other things on your plate that should not be on your plate. And you gotta refocus on and re, you know, uh, figure out exactly what it is you want. Start deconstructing and going backwards and getting what you want. So for example, you know, the fact that I'm out here living in Mexico, you know, I gotta walk every day to the grocery store to get my shit. Um, I brought myself down many, many notches and many levels instead of um, doing other things in order to avoid this. And why is that? Well, because the thing is that the most important thing to me is not just freedom, but it's literally, um, you know, being able to do what I want to do. And in order for me to be able to do what I want to do, I had to let go of a bunch of fucking comforts. Like, for example, transportation. And that's, I mean, simple. I mean, for reals, that's one example. I'm living in a place where I don't have constant AC in a very hot environment. Um, I bought myself a fan today for the computer. So, by the way, you know, <laughs> a little update there. And, um, you know, there's a bunch of shit. So, for example, I mean, yeah, sure, I'm fucking living out here in paradise and I'm living, you know, I'm living life. I'm living my vacation. I really am. But it's only because I want this for my life. I wouldn't want it any other way. Like, I really wouldn't. I mean, there's a few things here and there, but those are the things that you work on. You can only do so much with what you have and so on and so forth. And um, that's, that's what really, you know, tests your character out there, you know? Like, you know, the thing is, is like what you can do with what you have. Because anyone can fucking do amazing shit when everything is perfect, everything's running awesome, when you got a lot of money, all the resources in the world. You know, anyone, anyone can fucking do it. You know, anyone can kill it. You know, we're really, you know, we're really test you. We're really determines if you're a fucking badass or not, if you're, if you're a pimp or not, or what have you, is if, you know, you're able to fucking accomplish shit with absolutely fucking nothing, with very minimal resources, you know? Seriously. And it's, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, life puts you in these positions, but sometimes, you know, you gotta put yourself in these positions. And it's as simple as that. You, you gotta, like, you know, make it more difficult, you know? Just like, uh, you know, just like in a video game, you know, where you got like normal difficulty, easy, you know, super hard. Okay, so what's up to you? It's up to you, you know, like what you want to do with your game, you know? Whether you want to fucking play on easy mode or you want to fucking play in hard mode. And obviously, you know, both, both of them come with their own, you know, sets of uh, advantages, disadvantages. Both have their own sets of, uh, you know, um... You know reasons for doing them so for like for example you know what i mean this is like anything else if you play on easy mode well yeah sure things are going to be easy but things are going to be boring things are going to kind of suck it's going to get to the point real quick where you're like hating your fucking life and and so on and so forth yeah so i got something in my fucking eyeball jesus dealing with all the elements today huh like every everything that could that could affect me on this uh mission <laughs> is affecting me but we must go on but I guess, you know, again, you know, this is why I love the universe because it's like, it's putting all these kind of like hurt, stupid hurdles that you're probably not even seeing right now, but they're just affecting me as I'm making this video. But it's, um, again, you know, to test my, my fortitude, you know what I mean? To see if, um, how, what's this gonna do to me? Is it gonna fucking, you know, slow me down, make me wanna turn this shit off and give up? Or is it gonna make me wanna fucking, you know, make a better video? Well, you guys can determine that. Leave your comments at the bottom and let me know. <laughs> But, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, again, if you, if, if you love what you're doing, if you, you're loving this fucking journey, if you're loving the whole fucking thing, then this ain't no thing. You know what I mean? Like, for example, again, I'm loving this. Again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm recording as is. You know, you already know, very difficult, hard situation. I'm doing this to myself. Um, what are my gains out of this? You know, and so on and so forth. I'm playing right now on hard. Do I need to be playing on hard? Maybe not. You know, am I gonna get something for playing on hard? Most likely I will. And so on and so forth. So again, yeah, going back to like, what's the, what's the difference between playing on easy and on hard? Well, again, if you play on easy, you already know. You're, you're, you're just fucking going through the motions. And sure, you get to beat the game, but you might as well just fucking watch Twitch and watch, some, and watch somebody else play the fucking game, because that's basically what you're fucking doing. 
So, sure, why not go to normal? But if you're already on normal, why not fucking take it up a notch and go to hard, playing hard, you know? Like for real, why not? If you can handle it, then do it. Now, the reason I'm playing on hard is because, well, my whole fucking life has been on hard. So, you know, it's kind of like my default setting. But um, for those of you out there, I know there's a bunch of you guys that know exactly what I'm talking about. You guys are, you know, always upping the ante, you know, whether it's at working out, whether it's at work, whether it's a bunch of shit you guys do. But it's always, it's always about constantly challenging yourself. And um, that's how you grow. That's how you get to where you need to get. So again, any, any one of us can get exactly what we fucking want. We really can. But it's, the point is, it's like, do we want it bad enough? And that's where all that hard work comes in, that dedication, um, you know, the struggle, and so on and so forth. Because again, let me just re-emphasize, you know, one of the main reasons I'm out here, okay, is because, you know, sure, there's a lot of reasons why I'm out here. You guys already know, you know, it's like, you know, the, the reason I say living on the street, you know, like, oh, if, I'm, if I wouldn't have been out here, I'd be living on the street in L.A. It's because I, I, I believe in my dream and my thing so much that that's what I, I was going to do that no matter what. But the reality is that I probably could have gotten a job, you know, joined the regular workforce again and given up and put it back on easy mode and everything would have been fine. But I decided not to do that. I decided to keep this shit on hard mode. And I go, well, fuck it. You know what we're going to do now? You gonna, you believe, you really believe in this shit, Jose? You believe in it? You know what we're going to do? We're going to move to another fucking part of the world. That's how we're going to do. All right? And that's what I did. <laughs> and we're still here. We're playing. You know? And it's fucking going great so far. I'm fucking loving it. I'm like McDonald's right now. I'm loving it. And each day gets better and better and better. Each day, I am constantly being rewarded for my efforts and it's just making me want to do it even more and more and why because i'm doing it for the right reasons now do i get to eat a fucking new york steak ribeye kobe beef shit every night no i get to eat fucking eggs and ramen but guess what guess what i'm living my motherfucking dream and i wouldn't trade it for the fucking for anything in the fucking universe right now everything that i want i'm getting um everything that i manifest comes true anything that i put out in the universe i get and um you know it, it, it's 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 just a beautiful thing to see all this shit coming together huh. well thank you very much have a good one <laughs> so um, you know like i was saying you know like um it's all about you know um do you want it bad enough i'm gonna keep saying it over and over again because some of us most people most of us don't want it bad enough you know we just really don't and uh and that's okay too there's nothing wrong with that some of us already have it some of us already have it you know some people are fucking psychotic like me um there's all kinds of people but it's like you got to know yourself all right and again i want to re-emphasize with with the rolling stones you know you might not get what you want but you'll get what you need and that's how i feel you know um You'll be getting those wants. Those wants are gonna come. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, little pretty little head about that. All that shit's coming. But the reality is, is that you know you gotta just trust yourself, trust the universe. You know, blind trust. You gotta just believe that you know not only what you're doing is the right thing, but the only thing. And that you gotta just fucking keep doing it. And um, and, and that's it. You know, it's just like a weird, you know, blind, you know, desire that blind uh, confidence in yourself, in, in the process, in, in the whole thing, in the universe. And, um, and just knowing that, you know, again, why you need to 1000% make sure that you're doing exactly what you need to be doing, what you want to be doing, which you can only attain by soul searching. Because no matter what happens, Again, you know, um, when I feel bad, I pick up the camera and I do this stuff. You know what I mean? That's the thing. Because this is my cure. This is my life. This is my, my, the reason for waking up. The reason for everything. Um, it's, it's this. And uh, when you find that, whatever the fuck it is, whether you're a Lego enthusiast or whether you're, you know, you love. Come on, man. Yeah, so slow, so slow, so slow. 
so that I mean yeah I mean for reals you know whatever the hell it is it doesn't matter you know I'm, a, I'm a just a talking enthusiast and I found my voice man it's hot sorry mm, really shitty episode but it's such a great message <laughs> but uh yeah at the end of the day it's, it's really just taking care of yourself putting yourself first finding what you love doing all that work that it's going to take to get there to finding out what you love what you need so that once you do that then you can go out there into the world and do this provide this thing this art this service this whatever the fuck it is that you want to do for the rest of your life you're going to provide it for the rest of the world and in turn you're doing what you love people out there get to see the best of you they they get to have the best of you so it's like a win-win you're helping the world you're helping the universe you're helping your fellow man by being selfish and just doing what you want to do i know it sounds crazy but you know that's really what it is that's really what it is you can't you you know you can't do your best if you're not your best so that's why again you have to take care of yourself and it's all goes back to the simplicity of just finding out what you love what it is that you want to do with your life being 100 honest and true to yourself and then just fucking doing it that's it and um the sooner you do that the the more the better off you're gonna be it really 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 is um that simple man i know i mean it's just a lot of work that's the thing just like you know exercise and eating right and all that shit it's not that hard the hard part is doing it. The hard part is eating right and doing the exercise. For reals. But anyways, I digress. Just to bring it full circle one last time. You might not get what you want, but you'll definitely get what you need. But you got to believe in yourself. You got to trust yourself and you got to do it. All right. Well, I'm home. You guys can see. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please stay awesome. Please don't ever don't ever forget to not stay awesome. Always be awesome. And uh, most importantly, see you M see you mother efforts tomorrow. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, later's. Woof! I'm exhausted. A lot of walking today. Bye.